got a couple of tips for you regarding using the TI-84 and a CBR. So if you uh, use a CBR or CBR2 with a, the T84 Smart View, you'll need to establish the connection. Um, I have uh, it connected. Now, an important tip is that you use the silver cable. You'll have to dig one of those out or, or find one of those. Uh, once you uh, have one of those connected, then uh, you can launch Easy Data. Now, if you were using the TI. 84 handheld and you plugged in uh, CBR then it would automatically launch easy data like you just saw and you could hit start right away and it'll start collecting data alright let's take a look at that and it says it's gonna overwrite the previous run you're like that's fine with me okay You're using these soft keys hey look at that it looks like it's about uh, point two away from the wall but it auto scales it automatically auto scales. Let's see if it did that. Mm, okay. Well, guess what? That's because I changed the default right before I started this. And let's go back to the main menu, and I'll show you how I did that. So the default, when you first get it, um, it's nice to see that once you start the app again, it remembers your previous settings. But the time graph, and we want to do an advanced setting. We want to change something. We want to change the scale. Now. You see also that you could change the triggering. Perhaps you wanted to start it instead of using the, the soft key. Maybe you wanted to, to trigger it with um, the, the trigger button that's on the CBR. So we go to scaling and we say we want to edit it. And not that. Next, not that. And yes, we did want to make this to be, um, well, um, no. We wanted to change it so that it was no. Um, although you did get to see what it was like. And so I'll change it back to the default so you can see what would happen. Uh, and next. Okay. So when people first plug it in and they just hit start, then you see that it looks great until it analyzes it and it auto scales. And this was for CBR that wasn't even moving. You saw um, how it wasn't moving. Uh, the, the data ranges from uh, 0.223 right there down to 0.217. Uh, and so a difference of, uh, what would that be, a couple millimeters? Um, and so it's quite sensitive. I don't think um, either thing was necessarily moving, but it shows you uh, the amount of of um, air intrinsic in sending a sound to the wall and bouncing off um, but I don't think the wall was was moving <laughs> and and so you can change it here by changing the scale and you can see that the minimum and maximum is is, is quite small it's like a centimeter or so and, and so we can um, change that by doing the edit and make it go from say clear how about from zero? Zero to next. And how about point five? Next, next, next. Okay. So there you can fix it afterwards, but it might be nice to um, make it so it doesn't auto scale. Um, one other perhaps quick way of fixing that would be to use the distance match. The third option here under the setup is distance match and if we chose that, press enter and start the graph it's going to say hey match the graph on the next page. Try to match the graph on the next page, study it and we say um, next so there's the graph that we're trying to match. However, I'm just going to let it sit there and we can see how well I am not matching the graph. And after it finishes, you will see that it just preserves that. It doesn't uh, reanalyze or try to auto scale it. All right, so there's the story about that. Um, how about one more time? If you were to do the time graph, which is the normal or default, then you can do some advanced setup 
advanced settings, particularly in regards to the scaling of it. <laughs> and so you change the scaling and you edit that. And you would next, next, and you would choose no. Next. And that's all you have to do for that. You're ready to hit start. Even on the next time you use it, it will already be set up to do that. And, and so there's some tips about um, some extra features that you might not have known about when using the T84 and a CBR motion detector. Good times. Very useful for all sorts of things to teach in math. Linear, positive slope, negative slope, um, quadratics if you do a ball on an incline or a bouncing ball. And it's hands-on math. Good times. Thanks a lot.